Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have happy mail. Um, I'm, if you can't tell, this made my entire day. So, um, to no fault of these two shops, but because of the whole post office situation, I've been waiting on these packages for weeks. And the first one, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it, is, let me take the shipping label out so y'all don't see my address, I don't want to get doxxed. Oh, okay, so the first one is from Yellow Paper House, and I purchased from their Etsy shop. Now, they do have a website, but I purchased from Etsy, and they sent this cute little journaling card, and look, how cute. That's going to go with my B6. And. <laughs> oh my god. I got my dark red. And I got my black paper. Okay. I'm. I'm. I am. I could die right now. I'm so excited. So. The reason I chose to order from this shop. Is because the reviews were good. And because the. Uh, there were a lot of options. So, you know, and I wanted to support a small business, obviously. But like, ooh, this is nice. Oh, I wish y'all could feel it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So there were a lot of options, like as far as patterns and colors. They have color paper. They have, I almost ordered some lilac paper, but I just wanted to go with the white for now since I'm super low on paper for my catch-all that I use every week. Um, and so I just went with the regular, um, these are the tiny dots and then they also have larger dots for dot grid. And then I also got some black paper and I wanted some black paper just for like, I've been wanting to do like some blackout spreads in my catch-all. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my God. Um, and so this would be perfect, like, to use my white gel pens, and then I have some stickers with black borders, and yeah, okay, I'm, oh my god, now I feel like I want to just create layouts all night. So that's my paper, obviously haven't used it yet, haven't written on it yet, but first impression, amazing quality, just amazing, and I love this little card. And y'all already know, oh my god. I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting and I'm so excited for my bait box. Oh my gosh. The the amount of envy I've had from seeing everybody else get theirs. I'm like, am I the only person who hasn't gotten it? Pretty much. So we're just gonna pull everything out. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna be all right. <clears throat> okay, so, I don't even know where to begin, I'm so excited. First of all, I should say what this is. This is the Honey Bee Shop Babe Box for January 2021. And the theme is, oh my God, well, here. I I'll get to it when I get to the, uh, the journaling card here that explains exactly what is in this. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding with this hollow, Shan? What? Okay. Bare Necessities is the theme for this month. And it says, we are so thrilled to announce our first ever Babe Box collaboration. This month, we featured artwork from Megan, owner of Bare Necessities Sticker Co. Follow her on Instagram at Bare Necessities underscore stickers and then GrumpyBearStickers.com. Now, I knew about this shop before this collab. I've ordered a few things from them just absolutely love everything I've gotten. So when I saw that they were collabing together, I was like, this is a dream come true. So in this bait box, you get two journaling cards. So you have this one, and then you have this one I just showed you and geeked out over. We have six pattern papers, two acetate sheets, my favorite, a 10 page sticker book, five clear sticker sheets. Oh my God. A 15 millimeter washi tape, a 10 millimeter washi tape, a very cute pen sleeve, which I am so excited about because I actually don't have a pen sleeve. Vellum sticky notes, a very cute pen, vinyl sticker die cuts, and exclusive washi tower. So let's just get right into it. So this is the pen. 
Oh man, it's very nice. Super cute. So it has the little, you know, Honeybee Shop and Baron Sessie Sticker Co. Oh my gosh. It has a little bear on the cap. And this is what it looks like. So it has a little protective thing on it. Um, I'm actually gifting this pen to a friend who really wants it. I, while this is beautiful, I'm not a huge fan of pens like this. Um, just, just me personally, I just kind of like have my pens that I use and I'm not like, not huge on these. So I wanted to give it to her because I know she loves pens like this and she was, wasn't able to get the babe box before it sold out because this month's box actually sold out, which is amazing. So I will be gifting this to her, but it is beautiful. Love it. And then we, oh my gosh, we have the washi tape. And this is my favorite shade of pink. Like, y'all probably know by now that purple and black are my favorite colors. But pink is up there. I'm just very picky on the pinks that I like. Uh, and this pink is my favorite pink. This, like, I would call it bubblegum pink. I guess, like, Pepto-Bismol pink. <laughs> um, bu bubblegum's probably a little better. I'm gonna keep this seal, at least try to. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. Oh, gorgeous. And then this is the same pattern, I believe. It's just bigger. Absolutely beautiful. I'll put that right on my tower once I open it, which is now. I think this is the cutest idea ever. Okay. So what you do is you take your little thing and you stick it in and then I lied. There you go. And then you have a little washi tower. Look at that. Look how cute. And then you can display all your beautiful washi, your favorite washi. I am so excited. I have I'm currently using this from Do from the Target uh, dollar spot, which is fine, and I'm still gonna use it, but I want to put like my absolute favorite washi on this, and maybe just like the washi I'm using or like really digging for the week or whatever. I think this is such a cute idea, and it's very nice quality. I love it. All right, so we're gonna put that right there, get that out of the way. I'm gonna put this in view because it's just beautiful. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna save the die cuts. Oh my god! Y'all. Oh my god. Okay. So this is a pen sleeve. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. So like, I've been wanting a pen sleeve for a while because sometimes you just don't want to have like a pouch with you. Like you just want something smaller to hold your pens. And this is obviously like adorable. Here, I'll put an ink joy. Gotta have an ink joy. Put a pink one. How cute. Oh, I'm obsessed already. I'm obsessed with this. This is amazing. Okay, so here's the vellum sticky notes. And you know what? I'm actually, I know it's like unpopular. I'm not a huge fan of vellum sticky notes. I know like everybody else is really into it, it seems, on Instagram anyway. Um, but you know what? These are really pretty. These are actually just gorgeous. I actually really like these. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use these pretty often. I like the size. Um, and now that I have that pen, that was in the, um, oh, I can't remember which box it was in. Y'all know the pen I'm talking about. Um, now that I have a pen that can actually write on these and I won't have to like pull out a big Sharpie or whatever, I think I'll definitely use them a lot more. But I'm actually, I didn't think I was gonna like these and I, I think they're really pretty. Okay. So then we have some clear strips. Um, we've received clear strips before in some of the bait boxes and I actually have come around to them. At first I was like, eh, I don't know. But for certain layouts, 
they're just they're just really cute I really like these black ones obviously you can see they're just like kind of see-through they're just fun you know just a different different little thing they're great for layering and then we have the little clear icons which again like I've kind of come around to wasn't a huge fan of it first but they are very small I need my tweezers to get in there with those I do I'm glad that we got more clouds because I actually really like the clouds especially these grid ones and the black clouds are you kidding so excited and oh my gosh these little tiny I just I just absolutely love these and the hollow ones are you kidding So those are really cute. Excited to use those. I'm not gonna put them back in there because I'm putting those in my little sticker storage thingy. Actually, here, let me go ahead because I don't wanna lose them. I've been storing my journaling cards in this. Just make sure they're nice and protected. And so I always know where they are. And this is from Dollar Tree. Now I need to change this cover, obviously. It's pretty damn ugly. But <laughs> this is a great way to store your journaling cards. So that's where I've been putting it. And then it just lives on my planner card so they're all in one spot and protected. Oh my gosh, which do I want to do next? I gotta get into these. <laughs> yeah? Are you kidding? Okay, this is Oh my god, this is fucking beautiful. Are you kidding? So I've seen the digitals of these. And I had the um the one with the babe liners. I had that as my zoom background the other day. Oh my god. Okay, y'all. <laughs> um okay. I love acetate. I just love acetate. And oh my, <laughs> oh my god. I'm a sucker for grid patterns. Like, oh my god. I'm I'm fucking geeking right now. Are you serious? Dude. 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 Y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh, the grid, the grid, the grid, and the bears, and the, y'all, this is too, this is too much. Shan, I can't deal with this shit. Look at the, I can't, I can't, I can't deal, it's too much. Shan, this is too much. This, I have got to say, okay, and again, I like to be very honest with y'all, I like to be transparent the if you saw my my unboxing of the December bay box the adulty AF one you know I wasn't the biggest fan of it um, I think this is like the biggest improvement we could have had over December and I'm just so happy like I know not every month is gonna be incredible um, but this this is like 10 out of 10 like just absolutely worth every penny oh my god oh my god mood support oh my god these die cuts I can't decide if the die cuts or the papers are my favorite part of the box but like so I am I'm sharing these die cuts with a friend who wasn't able to get the box and I know that she's gonna want these beautiful girls so I'm going to share these with her Oh my god. Oh my god, look at her hair. Are you serious? Y'all. <laughs> the bear. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I can't. I can't deal. Look at her. Look how fabulous she is. Are you serious? No. Can't do it. Oh my god. Look at that. I just, I can't, I can't. Shan, this is just too much. Oh my God. Okay. 
<sighs> that is so freaking cute. Y'all, I, I can't. I can't. Get for one of those, one of those. Oh my God, I love these keys. Stamp that is so cute, <sighs> guys. I can't. The rose one, stop. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is just too. This is too much. I can't. I I just I can't. I haven't even opened the sticker book, but like this is ten out of ten. Like I can't. I can't. Okay. So I tried not to look at the digitals too much because I wanted to still be surprised with all this and I'm glad that I chose that. Oh, it was worth the wait. So number one, I love the the outside of this one. I love the little bear, it's like chilling. So we're just gonna go through page by page here. So here we have the first page with our full boxes. Super freaking cute. I cannot wait to do a spread with these. This is so good for like Valentine's Day too. Oh my gosh. That little coffee one, I, I can't. Oh, and then we, oh my gosh. And then we have our half and quarter boxes. Just this hollow, f I can't. Oh my God. This is bringing me so much serotonin right now. Like you don't eat. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Look at these. Dang it, I need my tweezers. Are you serious? They're clear, but they're like tinted. Like it's tinted pink and it's, y'all, this is too much. Oh my good Lord. Look at these. The clear date covers, are you serious? <laughs> Ah, uh, then we have our planner card, which I have an abundance of these and I haven't used them. But I saw somebody either on the the um, Honey Bee Facebook group or on Instagram who laminated theirs and cut it out and they like use wet erase marker so they can keep reusing it. I think I might steal that idea. These tiny little bear checklists are so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I get more coffee. Oh, this is perfect. Look at that. Look at them. Oh, oh, foldable stickers. Oh, oh my. Okay. Well, that's the greatest collab that ever existed on Earth, so. Um, this is a 10 out of 10 box. Like, you can't tell me that it's not. So, I am absolutely in love with everything and I can't freaking wait to use these papers. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't seen on my channel before, I do use these papers to create dividers for my planners. Um, and so my current, um, my social media planner currently has book gazer and um, blush baby in it. I think I might, I might change it over to this or I might just, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure, sure what I'm going to do yet. I do like to use them in my B6 as well. Um, my B6 doesn't really have like a theme. It's just kind of all stuff that I like. So I could uh, use that. I could use these in my B6. Um, I could use some of them in my catch-all, especially like these that are, you know, my catch-all is definitely like, like my discount catch-all is definitely like more on the like darker and like spooky vibes and like just more like my everyday aesthetic or whatever. I think this goes really well with that um, just cause it's got a lot of black and then it does have the pop of pink. And the, oh my god, these. I just, I can't. I do, I just feel like these might need to go in my, in my TN though. Um, especially 
My TN has a gray cover and I just feel like this is going to go so well. So we'll see what I end up deciding to do, but I absolutely love them. I love this so much. I love the sticker book. I love the die cuts. I love the freaking washi tower. I love these stickers. I actually love the vellum sticky notes, which I'm not a big fan of normally. I love the pen, but I am gifting it to a friend. I, I just like love this. This made my whole day, my whole week, and I can't wait. Now I'm really looking forward to the weekend when I have more time to sit down and play with this stuff. So I will definitely be utilizing this stuff in an upcoming plan with me. Might do one for pixels and planners. I have a couple um, episodes planned out. So look for those over the coming weeks. Be sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you are always notified when I post so you don't miss any of my uploads. And also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm coming I'm coming close to a thousand subscribe or well, I wish a thousand subscribers on YouTube. A thousand followers on Instagram and that's amazing for me. So be sure you follow me over there. Um, and I just hit 150 subs here on YouTube and I'm so excited about it. I just want to say thank you. Like from the bottom of my heart, it means so much that 150 people give a shit about me and my planners. Um, you just have no idea. So thank you so much. I definitely am going to do a giveaway. I am not entirely sure what it's going to be yet, but I will let you guys know. Um, I just want to give back to you and say thank you for, you know, for subscribing and for watching. And I love watching, you know, other creators' videos and getting inspiration. And if one person sees my video and gets inspiration from it, then that's enough for me. So that's it for today. Um, thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a great day. And I will see you next time. Bye!